Hi there. I hope you would have loved our previous videos on filter, the shortcut keys that you will be allowed to use, that will be expected to use while working with filter. Now this time we're going to talk about the calculations, the formula based calculations with the filtered list. So what I'm going to do, first thing first, I pick up the data, shift control right, down, I press alt a T to activate the filter or else you can also go to data and quickly click on this filter button. So that will activate the filter option. Once that is done, I'm going to pick up the amount column and go to the number filters. Of course, if you go to number filters, you get many more options which are numeric based in the sense that between something and something, uh, you'll have the between option here, less than equal to, greater than, does not equal to. And right now, to be able to explain and illustrate the formula which is associated with calculations under filtered list, I'm going to top 10. Of course, you can make this top 5, but for the time being, I'm keeping it top 10. Now, once you do top 10, it is the top 10 list based on the numeric value. Now, suppose if somebody asks you that you want the total of the top 10 values, wouldn't you be tempted to use the sum formula? Mm -hmm. If you do so, and if you happen to choose all the values within that list, it gives you the total of all the values, whether they are part of the filter or not, which means it is taking the values which are hidden inside the rows, for example, 16 and 75, and that gives you a huge result. Of course, this is incorrect. So what is the alternative? If you want to sum under a filtered list, the easiest path to do so is you press the shortcut key alt equal to and I press enter. I will get the correct total. Now alt equal to the same thing can also be done if you were to apply a sum option. Now a lot of people go to home option and there you find the auto sum. They click on sum and you get the exact same formula subtotal 9 and thereafter the range. Enter. I get the correct total. Now you must be wondering what is the subtotal formula. I'll tell you. The first portion of subtotal formula which says function num. Now it appears to be a single digit. Let me do one thing. Uh, I'll delete that and I'll put one. Just for example. The moment I put one I get a drop down and this drop down tells me a variety of values. For the time being we'll focus only on the first 11 values. Now if you happen to see the list you'll notice that the sum has been uh, marked with 9, which means if you want the summation of all the filtered list values, you must put in 9. If you want average, put 1. You don't have to remember the list, it's just that you must remember the logic. If you delete the 1, automatically the list appears and you can pick and choose. For example, max would be 4, uh, 5 will be min, and 1 is definitely average. So this is the average value amongst the top 10 values. So if you're wondering, what are the other options when we talk about the 1, 0 series? I'll take these parts a little later in the next lecture probably. It'll be too much in a single session. So I'll come to that. But for the time being, let me also highlight your attention to one phenomenon which I have seen people coming across and that could lead to some erroneous results. They write subtotal formula by hand of course and they write 9 indicating it's a sum that they are looking for but they go ahead and choose the entire selection manually. Now notice it is starting from 16th row and where is our actual data starting from? 9th row. So 16th row till what row? 244th row. It doesn't even take the extra rows which are hidden between 244 and 264th row. Which means in future, if you extend the list to let's say top 30 clients, and I do that, I do that, keeping the subtotal formula as it is. I do that, top 30, okay? As I scroll down the list, as I double click on the formula, notice it has not included the value which was falling outside the 244th row. So a, a safe option is you press the alt equal to to activate the subtotal formula. Now you might tell me if there are blanks, what do we do? The alt equal to might not capture the entire series of range. Now that you know the logic, even if you apply alt equal to, just keep in mind that the starting point should include the first row of data, which in our case is 9th row. And in this case, 263rd is the last row of the value. So I put E16 manually 
and E263 being the last row in which the data exists. Come what may, you must include the entire range to be able to get accurate result time and again. So there you go, this was subtotal formula in its purest and basic forms.